It was phenomenal. But nothing is as phenomenal as watching Scotty Scheffler golf. Let me tell you why. People say this guy's a wet blanket. Understandable. It's true. Yeah, you can, can see true. that it description being accurate. People say this guy's a nerd. This guy is terrible for the face of golf. I say nay. I agree. Yeah. I say absolutely not. When you watch this bearded bastard play golf, and we don't know if his wife has had the baby or not, but nonetheless, congrats to the entire yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very congrats. cool. He's won nine tourneys since 2022 in the PGA. Okay. He's obviously won the Masters in two of his five starts at the Masters. He is a guy, though, that people, whenever he talks, they're not entertained by. I think he's a man of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Obviously, say he's doing mm -hmm. this to empower Jesus Christ. That's he's going to create me, put me here, which we respect and mm -hmm. appreciate. But he's not about the antics. On the golf course, he's not going to lose his mind. He is going to swing out of his shoes. But once he starts going to work, it is mesmerizing. It is hypnotic. So for those of you that don't think he's the right guy to be the face of golf, I don't think you watch him play golf enough because when he has that club in his hand and he's about 89 to 96 yards away on the ninth hole of the Masters Sunday, one in which the entire course had been beating the shit out of the rest of the golfers. The wind's crazy. The greens are firm. They're making this like a U.S. Open course. Well, on Sunday, the leader said, let me put this in. Now the golf gods screwed him. Yes, yeah, they did. Yep. Yeah, golf gods screwed him. I don't appreciate the fact that that ball kind of rolls a different direction. And you think to yourself, well, that's just one lucky shot from this guy. He actually said in a press conference, I hadn't been hitting my, my irons that well. Then he got a birdie on eight, gets a birdie on nine, gets a birdie on ten, what? and he goes to 14. This is after Max Homa, Morikawa, what? and everybody kind of falls apart because Augusta National had been getting everybody. Maybe Scheffler will finally <laughs> look like a human playing golf. Uh-uh! Mm. I'm rolling this thing from how far? 100 what? That was 100. 53 up 153 Jeez. yards to four inches on Masters Sunday on hole 14 when everybody else around him is crumbling. This dude. How excited is he? Is. Locked in. It's jacked yeah, up. he's locked yeah. in. Job's not done yet. No need to bring up the wet blanket stuff, which I think you were just doing right there. Because once again, this bearded golfer doesn't need to open his mouth mm. ever again. No. Just play <laughs> golf, Scotty. Here's 16. Par 3. Patrons are filing in. Wow, we're about to see a second green jacket in five starts here, aren't we? Whoa, maybe the 16th hole will get him. A lot of water to the left, Scotty. You slip out of your shoes and hook one. It's going to be a bad day. Hey, maybe Ludwig Oberg can catch up. Scotty says, sweet, I'm going to put this one to eight feet, and then I'm going center cup. Remember, everybody's talking Gosh. about my putter not yeah. being as great as everybody else's. Get off my ass, yeah. says Scotty Scheffler. And obviously, you got to finish on the 18th hole. And whenever you see this man put the putt away, and he and his caddy, Tim something, who got a chance to lead him mm -hmm. out through the patrons because his family wasn't there, hug and embrace. I think there is a chance that right here, caddy says, hey, go tell that baby that daddy's a champion. Yeah. Yeah, you know? Yeah. I mm -hmm. think there was a little bit of embrace because you saw him get a little bit of emotional. And you saw, hey, oh, you son of a... <laughs> yeah. Okay, and he has to be professional. Let me tip the cap to the patrons. But you talked about emotion. The robot, the AI, the man who's in the zone when he's on the golf course can't be showing emotion on the 14th hole, 16th hole. He shows his emotion after he's very kind. You should mm -hmm. take off your hat when you talk to Scotty Scheffler, pal. But nonetheless, <laughs> look at this right here, right here. Do it. Yup. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> there we go. Yeah! Woo! That's all the there emotion you need. That's all we need. When the job is done, Scotty lost his mind. When he was just hours, we think, ahead of becoming a father for the first time, after defeating a course that had defeated everybody mm -hmm. else, he showcased his emotion. He showcased his happiness. He showcased to the world that this man does understand that what he's doing is awesome and he's taking it in. Congrats, Scotty. Yeah. You're Scotty the goes scoop. That was fun to watch. Yeah, unreal. Literally, anybody that says he's not the right guy, like you're not watching golf, like you're not watching the golf. You you catch the highlights, Correct. you catch the press conference, but you're not spending all day Sunday watching. I woke up with Tiger and Neil Shipley on ESPN. Yeah, so yeah. week. Okay, I was watching that. <laughs> Tiger obviously unraveling, had to make the cut so that Sun. Day okay. Red can make an appearance on Sunday, and he also has 24 yeah. consecutive cuts, which is the most in history. Congrats to Tiger. It's an honor watching you golf. Baby, Tiger. Tiger. But it did feel like it was a pro-am, almost. Yeah. It felt like it was a pro-am with him and Neil Shipley. <laughs> yeah. Now, that wouldn't be the case just like, what, five years ago, six, seven years ago with Tiger Woods. But now he's at the point of life, I think, where he understands, like, hey, 
this is probably the biggest day of this kid's life yeah, golf for sure. in the caddy who's 20 years old who just so mm -hmm. happened to go to Central Catholic alongside in Pittsburgh alongside Neil Shipley he's not even a real caddy no he's just kind of hey you want to come caddy for me down here <laughs> right. he ends up walking the course with Tiger it was wow. like it was a beautiful weekend. Thank you to the Masters of Golf for putting it on. And congrats to Scotty for cementing himself as an absolute monster in a machine, potentially, as John Rahm of Liv had to put the green jacket uh -huh. on PGA Tour's baby face. Mm -hmm. Scotty Scheffler, no interaction between them whenever they were in the uh, cabin doing a conversation afterwards. Yep. Nothing. 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 Not a one. Uh -uh. Neil Shipley was keeping that an eye on the, on the <laughs> he was. Yeah, he was. And I think a producer should have potentially told him before he went live, hey. like, hey, Pop, you, this is real. You don't need to see it. Yeah. You know, because Neil on. is a little bigger guy. Yeah. Sure. Got good hair. Great. Probably wondering how he, oh, my God. I'm here great. Yeah. I don't know what he did, but he's guilty. He's in there with Nance. <laughs> like I think Brendan the only thing he's guilty of is displaying the fact that he has Phenomenal periphery. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. The ability to get both eyes that far. Because you got to remember, his left eye right now is doing nothing. Uh, yeah. His <laughs> left eye is staring at the other side of his nose. Yeah, exactly. This is an all right, right eye job. He's trying to figure out whether or not he's actually on TV with these guys. Uh -huh. So a little media training probably as we go forward. Sure. But Neil Shipley had some beautiful shots. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. shots alongside Tiger Woods. But I would say the Augusta National folks got to be feeling as if they put on an excellent weekend. The wind kicked ass. The yes, course so kicked ass. And Scotty Scheffler did the entire weekend. No, I agree with you 100% on, on Scotty. Like, because I mean, Tiger, Tiger, sorry, Tiger, <laughs> Tiger was feisty. When you go Tiger and feisty, and you go Tiger, I don't, I don't mind that. Well, he was all. a little Tiger. He, he was a couple was. Tiger shots. Yeah. You know, yeah. he, he had to go to work for hours and hours and hours Saturday night just to get out there on Sunday. Okay, oh, so yeah. Tiger did what he could do to put on a face on Sunday, um, but Scotty, like. He personally isn't as feisty as, as Rom or, or Tiger or some of the past champions have been, have been, but his game, like his game is like on 14, like when he, when he hit it, he put it that close from 153 out, like all in my mind, I was like, just Scotty, you, you dog you. Okay. Like that's all like his game and the way he swings out of his shoes, like that is the feisty part of, of Scotty's game. And just like on, on nine, the one where you talked about the, the golf gods from 89 out, it was, that was, that was when they were all, there was three at the top that were seven under a piece. Mm -hmm. So like. They would j they kept trying to answer, and then Scotty just put it on top of them all yeah. day long, and like that's how his game speaks. And then finally, like it was I don't know if it was relief or whatever at the end when he did yell, it was like, like that. He is just a stone cold assassin all day Killer. long. Yeah. Yes, Killer whenever he hits these. Uh friend of mine, somebody I know, potentially birdied nine. Mm -hmm. okay. Really, potentially. Wow. Okay. Close Tough friend. Hole. Is it yeah. a close friend? Yeah, real close. source. Says very close to person. Also birdied nine. Did not do it in the same fashion. But okay. you know, you did not do back. it in the same fashion. Same score on the card. Exactly. Didn't pull exact. We both got circle on That's the right. And then we just well, whoever I'm talking <laughs> yeah, yeah. about yeah. got yeah. circle yeah. on a button uh, right. and both. moved along. Mm -hmm. But it's like D Butch, mm -hmm. this is why you play the game. Yeah. And I was completely out on playing golf ever again. Remember? Yeah. Still that am. was just like a week ago. Come so on, that's buddy. you. Yep. So the Masters. I watched the Masters for four straight days. I'm like, that sport's awesome. Every single shot is a new game. It's a brand new game. And then you get to the green, and it's a whole new sport. And then you have to go immediately from that to driver. And if you just so happen <laughs> to miss, you're completely screwed. Mm -hmm. Scotty didn't put himself in a situation yeah. to gain four strokes. Morikawa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Put himself out. Couple. Homa yep. put himself mm -hmm. in there. Uh, 12, back-to-back, par-par. The person I know. Okay. Wow. The person I know that played uh, sure. Augusta National. Down at Tough hole. You played two Tough times. Tough hole. Yeah. Tough hole. Brutal. Thin green, you know, not a big landing no. spot. Oh, yeah. The guy I know actually bladed it the second day. <laughs> okay. And it hit the mind in front and then actually. Oh, perfect. That's per yeah. Absolutely you perfect. That's what yeah. you want to do. Yeah, par par though. You know, missed a couple putts from what I've been told. So whenever you see Homa get all jacked up. Yep. And how could you not? Did you see that crowd oh, down there? God. Gorgeous. Huge crowd. Mm -hmm. Not a phone in sight. No, That's right. there was not. Not, not a Beautiful. phone in sight. And I understand that I'm a human that is on my phone and our business is on a lot of people's phone. Obviously, I've been a X and Twitter user more than maybe 99.9999999% of humans on earth. So I'm not saying I'm not guilty of this myself, but I am at a stage of life now where I am trying to just enjoy every moment. Now, I'm not saying this is brand new, but it's like in the moment, I want to live here. I want my brain to remember what my brain remembers. And if it's being documented, I'm going to try to find, you know, try to find footage so that we can have it or whatever and I can have it. But it's like, I want to remember the feeling whenever I'm here having this moment. And it's like Augusta National forces 
that upon people. And in droves, everybody still shows up. A lot of tippy toes in the back, if yeah, you're assuming. Yeah. A lot of tippy toes in the back. I have to. Like, yeah, head, head uh. tipped back, like Drew Brees in the pocket. Yep. Mm-hmm. A lot of tippy toes. You know, a lot of that potentially happening. But yeah, that was a beautiful moment to watch. That's crazy. Actually. And it got me completely back into golf. This weekend, yeah. I'm all the way back. I'm like, you know what? Am I playing at the American Century Championship? Last week, no way in hell am I wasting my life in doing it. <laughs> sure. I'm a terrible golfer. for four days. My toes bruise. My feet get blistered. What? I suck. It's not fun. <laughs> Sunday's the worst day oh, no. of anything I've ever been a part of because mm. I have to walk this seven-mile course, and it means nothing. Uh, it means yeah. absolutely nothing. And then we're waiting to get on a plane that is so Five hours. Long so flight. Far. Back in, you know, it's just like everything about it sucks, you know? Mm-hmm. But the setup is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, sure. The vibes are immaculate. Good, right. always. The views are great. Yeah, mm-hmm. breathtaking. The people are fantastic. Mm-hmm. And then you watch the Masters of Golf, and it's like, yeah, this is sport I want to keep playing. Yeah. You've picked it up and dove in completely. Head first, yep. But I will say, with your allegiance to one particular tour yeah. over another, Liv got their asses beat. No, they didn't. Did. No, they didn't. D. Shambo is supposed to be the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Top five. And, uh, and he's using illegal clubs, too. And they were legal. They got cleared, and he jumped out to a hot start. $10,000 clubs. Three deep Jeez. printed. A little lump we'll in talk it. About but uh, it, it, it was great, man. It was oh. great to see, especially a new fan of the game, to see all the big time players playing in yeah. it. Uh, the different storylines, the live guys, a uh, homo possibly winning his first one. Oberg is a dog, you know him. First getting, ever major yeah, league yeah. Yeah. In, in the Hands. second. Twenty four. You know, Colin uh, right future. been uh, been paired up with Scotty to finish it off, but uh, but Scotty, I mean, he's just a robot, and you know, I give him shit about you know not being excited. But my favorite football player is like that, Barry Sanders, um, when it comes to the running back position, Ooh. Tim Duncan. Wichita. Kind of similar, so if your game kind of speaks for yourself, mm-hmm. uh, it does. Maybe maybe the answer is an alternate broadcast with you talking over when he's hitting. Maybe you be his alter ego <laughs> or something. But uh, he is a phenomenal, phenomenal golfer. And t- you mentioned it. it was kind of back and forth. And I think on Sunday, what do you have? Seven, eight birdies on Sunday? Yeah, I had three straight, eight, nine, yeah. ten, and I think seven in total. Yeah, there just, was one hole that was a three-stroke swing. Yep, mm-hmm. I think it was nine. It was, yeah. I think it was nine when yeah, it put it more. Yeah, Kawa ended up in the sand. And then the job that the Masters does, like with the coverage, the, the website, the app, the, the shots, like that shot of Scotty, that ball rolling back, like that slow motion view, like all of it is dope. This is only my second Masters watching it. Um, I, I'm pissed off that I missed, you know, last 38 of my years of life not not watching this uh, Masters Sunday. So I'm already looking forward to the next one. This was dope. And uh, once again, the golf world, they got to figure it out. They got to figure out how to get these two two tours together and uh, well, playing against each other. On a, you yes, know, they do. A much more often. Tiger basis. said that the meeting down in the Bahamas was positive. He thinks all parties left there with a much more – uh, much better feeling of how everything is going to go. That was obviously Liv uh, meeting the Yasir. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Leader of the PIF. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which is the fund that Saudi Arabia has for sports. Correct. Bottomless pit. Basically. That's what they said. That's what they told us. We, they told of us money. off the record. And, and on people. the record, they told us. Remember how Olive Garden used to have bottomless soups and salads yeah right, exactly good. that's what they got but just with money mm-hmm. and i'm like what's that they're like just 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 it's just money yeah. there well how many are we talking they're like whatever number you make up yeah, ours, go yeah, ahead, I can go ahead guess. Start, start counting right now and then we'll catch up with you three years from now still yep yep still got it still got it what kind there. of return are you looking for on an investment well so i i think what everybody's saying is and i guess cm punk kind of alluded to this with some businesses that are being run by people that have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's not necessarily just looking to make money. It's like wanting to create something awesome. Mm -hmm. Sure. You know, like that is the thought of the person that is with the money. Now, do I believe that live inevitably will make money off of their investment? Yes. Absolutely. Because I think live sports and golf are only going up Mm -hmm. into the right, just like everything else. But them pairing with PGA would certainly help expedite the entire Mm -hmm. return of uh, investment for them. Now, I think the courses matter. Big time. So, like, I think that's why, like, Augusta National showing up in the way that it did. And some people, like, look at this shot. You talked about the way they capture it. This is between two trees. <laughs> Sweet. There's a birdie, one of seven he had on So seven. awesome. Just right there. Like, just such a beautiful shot. Such a wonderful shot. Nobody's really acting like assholes yeah. in the crowd. No. I wonder why that is. You get, get t- you get kicked out. You get, t- you get thrown out. Never can come back. You get banned. banned? There was you're a guy. There was a guy. You're not allowed. You're not allowed to run on the course. You know how some courses. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, the oh, guy who's running the course. Boy, did they get him, and he's gone for life. <laughs> yeah. See, you, you think you can add? You think both feet can be off the ground at the same time? Not a chance. Absolutely not. In Augusta, because that is the Olympic rules. 
for speed walking. Yeah. One of your feet have to be on the ground at all times. Mm -hmm. So that's why the speed walking oh. method is what it is. Because when you're running, both feet in sky, because mm -hmm. you're galloping and leaping. So they reviewed the footage. <laughs> that son of a bitch. Yep, yep. He's if he had cleats on, if he had golf cleats on, yeah. maybe skim yep. mm -hmm. the ground or whatever. But, yeah, he got out of there. You're right. I completely forgot about that. By the way, though, shout out to the trees for not falling this year. Yep. yep. That was big. And shout out to the trees shaking Tiger Woods' hand. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> that was very cool. And uh, that's Vern Lundquist. This photo just happens to be one of the greatest. He <laughs> celebrated and is retiring 40 years calling the Masters. Shout out, Vern. Oh, Vern. Vern. Obviously, college football, Happy Gilmore, you name it, he's been in there. And I just thought immediately what I would say if I could go <laughs> shake a tree's hand. Yep. I'd drive an electric vehicle will be the yeah. first thing coming out of my mm -hmm. mouth. Yeah, I mean, sure. just let them know. I'm on your team. From what I've been told. Now, allegedly, there's kids dying potentially to make the batteries, but nonetheless. Saving the trees. I've been told the trees I'm saving don't care you. About them. Yeah. And I don't write or read books either. I don't like that they spend all that paper on stuff. Mm -hmm. So on. don't worry about that. I'm on your side is what yeah. I would say. Great photo, great weekend, great memories, great tournament, mm -hmm. I think, for everybody oh, yeah. down there in Augusta. Yeah, not to get lost, too. Like, the reason I, I wasn't saying, no, they shouldn't, you know, merge the live and PGA. They have to do that. But as long as the beef stays. Because Wyndham Clark, after yeah, Thursday, not, being like, well, you know, who knows? Because, you know. The live guys play 54 holes, and this is a 72 hole course, and then immediately shooting like plus seven <laughs> into miss eight the cut. over. Yeah, miss the cut. Yeah, I mean like that type of thing, like that stuff for Wyndham, of course, sucks. He, he's going to figure it out. He's great, but like that beef on tour, I think, is incredible. And like the majors, like their courses are awesome. Live needs to do a 50 million dollar major and have the purse be that big. First place gets 30 million. Like if their thing is the money, then they need to build their major. To make the purse the biggest in history, it's bigger than the FedEx Cup. Yeah, make you know, it fifty million. Make it fifty million. Everybody's yeah. showing up for that. It, it, well, exactly. What's well, PGA? You can also put over a course too. Because mm -hmm. we were just talking about the courses. They got to start selling the courses that they're playing yes. at. Because the course is the one playing against everybody. Like Augusta National beat everybody this week. Yeah, yeah. That was kind of the big Especially takeaway. The wind. Yeah, the wind helped. Mother Nature came in and helped. But like Augusta National, how it was playing, it was difficult. Mm -hmm. And it's like all these legendary courses the PGA has built up relationships yep. with. And as a viewer, you know the course. Mm -hmm. Like I don't want to say I didn't know Fire Thorn, go in the whole sixteen or like mm -hmm. Lit Storm or whatever the hell they name all these <laughs> damn uh, holes and everything. But you at least know it and you know what it is. So whenever they just drop into these cities on these brand new courses, everybody's like, it's hard to get credit to mm -hmm. the court. Like, I, well, it's just like Rolling Fields and Mario. Mar <laughs> yeah, yeah it's a tough one. Like, I don't really know the course. I think they need to start putting over the courses more. As I watched this weekend, I thought of For it. sure, because I, I don't know about all the, I mean, D-Butt, you know, you've been to a couple of them, yep. but it feels like most of these places that they play at, like, while they are challenging courses, like, for the most part, they're kind of like resort courses. You know, it's like that... Every sing damn near every stop on the PGA, like there is a course there that's very difficult, mm -hmm. that's challenging, that always challenges some of the players. And a lot of people were saying, and who knows if it's true, but they were like, well, maybe that's part of the reason that by and large, Liv didn't fare well at Augusta this year because these guys are used to playing easier courses. You know, where at, when they're they're the best in the world, obviously they can go out and dominate these you know courses in Miami or wherever. And then you get down to Augusta, and it's like. You, you kind of miss that when you're not on the PGA when they have these very, very difficult courses that regular golfers would just chop it up every single week. And I think you do miss a little bit of that because they're just playing it kind of whatever's available and what's whatever's left over. Uh, sources close to somebody that played uh, on Augusta National, mm -hmm. 120 or something like that. Wow. 120. Bingo. Not a lot of G or fluff or roller. Yeah. <laughs> no winner rules a lot. No, no, no. Got it, was, it was the mulligans. Got to finish Top it 20 out. what? About, it was about five, six live golfers in the top 20. Brooks, yes. Brooks had a I, I was Hatton. I was excited to see Brooks kind of get going. Hatton was hilarious. Can't Obviously he's back to the same old tricks. He's the man. He just can't help Cam himself. Cam Smith and Bryson were the ones that were yeah. in the top, top 10. One. Yep. How about Zach Johnson? That guy stinks. Yeah, so what's his deal? <laughs> I didn't know he won. The, I forgot he won the Masters of Golf. Yeah. yeah. I forgot because he told he, he told a story about sleeping in a green jacket the mm -hmm. night he won and everything like that. And he wore jeans, I think, on the live with Regis and uh, uh, Kelly. And okay. Might have been Ryan and Kelly at that point. Mm -hmm. Rest sure. in peace, Regis. Rest nice. Love you, Regis. Love you, Regis. Regis. Regis had a hell of a run. Mm -hmm. He did. It's like he was the, on TV more than any human in yes, history. Yes, he was. Who wants to be a millionaire? Oh, yeah. Remember? He has, he has actual sure. Guinness World Record for yeah. oh, shit. most amount of time on television yep. out of any human in history. Wow. Legend. Impressive. People say, I'm going for it, but uh, <laughs> there's a lot of me. Yeah, well, we just had a conversation before. I mean... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Now it's not the time. <laughs> well, it came up. It came now, up. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Hey, Reach. Thank, Thank you for what you did, Reach.
Zach Johnson's been doing that. That's that is not a <laughs> real. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. this I'm not. Hey, Reed. That's the pigs, Reed. Love you, Reed. Love you, Reed. First, first game though. That garbage time show like stunk, but he knew it. He knew. He knew it as he was in it. It was kind of just like the end of the entire thing. For the love of the game. Thank you, Reach. <laughs> Thank you, Reach. Love you, Reach. They were uh, launching an entire sports network with that show. Yeah. Was, I mean, if Reach. Colin Cowherd and Regis Philbin <laughs> launching a sports network. Now, they're still going, obviously. People watch them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, that show ended, but Regis, Regis' legacy will never die. Never. Even though we're very grateful and appreciative.